Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy I just do what? I said write the numbers down. Number. I'm gonna write it on. <laughs> I'm trying to eat. <laughs> Thank you for this food we're about to receive in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, Amen. Amen. Amen, amen, amen again. What's going on, Mackenzie? What's up? Q. Elemental P. Q. Q. R. S. T. U. V. Q. We stopped her from uh, playing her game because we were known yet. Well, I'm sorry, Q. <laughs> You was fussing. Don't be fussing, Keith. Hey, Marge. Hey, Marge. Margie, Marge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Marge. Wait a minute. Oh. Yes. She said, that's me. <laughs> I had to make sure. <laughs> Y'all know Dre? They put rice in this. Right. They ain't do it. Y'all know Dre? Dre that does the, the food critic on TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> and I got my sauce on my, my fish. They didn't do that yesterday. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm good. They put the sauce on your rice? Mm -mm. And you have no sauce at all? Mm -mm. What they, they didn't do it right yesterday. Mm. Well, you waited all. Very good, yeah. Can I have a napkin, please? Mm-hmm. What's going on, y'all? Thank you, one day, Doc. Mm-hmm. Hey, y'all. I got through my one load this week, thank God. My one load this week. Working out today, Jared? Good job. Mm -hmm. Good job. Mm -hmm. Um, baby's eating grilled fish, mm -hmm. blackened fish, blackened shrimp. Mm -hmm. I'm touch puppies, red beans and rice with sausage in it, and mm -hmm. toast. Mm -hmm. Garlic bread. Garlic bread. Mm -hmm. I have Subway. No, um, Charlie's. Charlie's. Cheesesteak. Really cheesesteak. Mm -mm, don't mess with my stuff. <laughs> Are we watching the Super Bowl tomorrow? No. Nah. Well, let's put it this way. I'm watching Usher featuring the Super Bowl. Better say it. <laughs> We're watching Usher. We're watching Usher concert. <laughs> So I'm watching Usher featuring the Super Bowl tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know what y'all doing, but that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I like to, personally me, I don't know about baby, but for real, I like to watch like who's singing the national anthem and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I don't come back till halftime, watch the halftime third, show, third quarter, yeah. which I understand that maybe Alicia Keys might be making a guest appearance. <laughs> I guess I done told it. They ain't giving my lemon. See, they have they be doing. They be paying attention to everybody else's business. They was all and all off in the back and didn't. They was probably all off on their phones in the back because mm -hmm. nobody. They everybody came up missing. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, that's my reason I'm going to watch it. <laughs> Love me some usher. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hey, Reggie. Hey, Reggie. Yeah, you picked the right time to go on tour. But you, you know what? From what the way I understand it, it was all a strategic move mm-hmm. because he has a new album now. You say that's how they do it when mm-hmm. they got a new album out there. Mm-hmm. They use the Super Bowl to um, promote it. Promote it, yeah. Mm-hmm. I like that commercial that Ludacris and and. Um, and uh, Taraji P got. Uh, What's that? I didn't see it. it I was not? watching it this morning when they was going around looking for Usher and stuff like that. I have to show you the. the I have to show it to you. But I like. They that. was looking for one. I like that little skit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I might have made a good halftime probably commercial. Mm-hmm. You already saw that in DC, Baltimore. Okay. Mm-hmm. Usher Raymond. <laughs> His daughter is the cutest. As long as I've been following, I ain't never seen none of these kids. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. He showed his kids. Mm-hmm. He was showing how he was sitting out having tea time with his daughter. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What y'all doing today? Mm-hmm. What's going on in the in the news? <laughs> Y'all at work? Can you remember that show? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How's your sandwich? That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Been chilling, about to go babysit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, Alicia. Hey, Alicia. Mm-hmm. You can't wait to get out of work. You got the next two days off. Okay. Bethany, what's going on? Mm-hmm. You know what we're gonna recap today? <laughs> what we're gonna recap? Sisters and the Oval and the Monique interview and <laughs> the DL rant. <laughs> That's in TikTok tabloid. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Making potato salad. That sounds good. I like potato salad with like either a, a hot dog or a coleslaw. I didn't get to see the Monique interview, but you can go see it. It's on, Better go check it out. It's on YouTube. Mm-hmm. I heard it's getting almost as close as the ratings with um cat cat. Mm-hmm. You want some? No, I'm trying to figure out why you rip up your, your thingy. Why, why? No, I have enough room. No, I don't. Yeah. I have enough room. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Being abusive makes you who rich? Shay? Hmm? Shannon? Say what now? Need to do what? Somebody was saying the interviews are making him rich. I said, what interviews are making who rich? <laughs> yeah. This is good. Well, that's what I want from here. <laughs> when they do it right, though. Mm -hmm. I said, from now on, this is what I want from that one, but I want it done right and not rushed. I didn't put a lot of my lemons in here. No, I don't. Do you use your lemons? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, I, uh, I don't know what you did yesterday. I was out. <laughs> did you see what I was eating yesterday? Mm -mm. Well, I wasn't paying attention to anything. <laughs> well, your pops, yeah. Right. Mm hmm. And my egg yeah, egg. I, I um, squeeze the lemon over the, the fish and the shrimp. Get that tang taste. I like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Red beans and rice. Mm-hmm. Let me give it a better taste, yeah. It has that, that, that kink to it. I don't know. You say all about all about that lemon? <laughs> mm -hmm. Tammy said it's all about that lemon. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I did that. I let my stomach. Bigger than your, your, your eyes, bigger than your stomach? What do you eat the rest later? I can. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Eat the rest later. Mm-hmm. Where y'all been? Chilling? Mm -hmm. I've been chilling. Baby's been working. Mm -hmm. Where you been? <laughs> yeah. So what y'all think about sisters? We're gonna give it to sister. We're gonna give it over last. What y'all oh and all the queen men. We're gonna give it all the queen men out to sisters. What y'all think about sisters? I mean y'all watch sisters and what y'all think about this? Mm hmm Last um episode. And do y'all think uh Gary's a trip? Do y'all think Danny has a, re a, a a right to be mad that um <laughs> that the kids come to visit him at work <laughs> and didn't tell Danny. Mm hmm Mm. I mean, you feel like Danny have a right to be mad? I don't think yes, he has, a right, he has a right because he never told her. He told he knew about the kids. She knew she about, about the kids. He knew about the kids. She just didn't know that. She just expected him to, I guess, see the kids every blue moon or pay the child support, and they really don't see the kids. Right. So she knew about the kids. She right. just didn't expect to see the kids at the job. Mm hmm. Basically, thought he was gonna be a deadbeat dad. Mm -hmm. That's basically what that is. Well, I guess a warning would have been nice. Well, you gotta understand, uh, rich auntie, she went to the job. You know, and he was. She was supposed to have been at home, and he was supposed to go over. She came to surprise him at the job, so you can't give a warning on not having a warning, right? And the way he said it was like he didn't know. But he's gonna have to watch the kids mm -hmm. either. Mm -hmm. But that's to be expected when you're dating somebody who With has kids. kids. You gotta expect the unexpected. Mm -hmm. mm. My thing is, if it's gonna raise the issue, don't date anybody that has kids. Mm -hmm. Like when I was single, I didn't date. I didn't date people who had children. Mm -hmm. What you say? Uh... Danny should not have been mad because she should have, because he he should have told her they were 
there before she unclosed. Well, I'm, I, Shay Shay, I'm thinking that she came in. She came in to surprise him like that. She, he didn't expect. He didn't. She, he didn't expect that. That's that's the work environment. You, she, he was at work. Goodness, you couldn't just pop up at work and do some stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, you might wanna. You might, you know, wanna be. You know, uh, what you call that? What you call that when people... Spontaneous. Spontaneous, yeah. You might want to be spontaneous, but you have to also understand that that worked first. <laughs> so... But still, I want to stay on that because I'm just saying, how many of you guys, how many of you guys date people with children? I have. I have, and it's not easy. I know I always said I would never do it. And it was just for the simple fact that I know how not that when I said that I was in my twenties. Mm-hmm. But I knew how I was with my time. I didn't want to share my time. Mm-hmm. So that was an absolute no no. I don't care how fine you are or whatever. I wouldn't date nobody with children. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You say I have kids, my boyfriend have kids, we have one together, it's not always easy. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It's not easy. Yeah, you gotta expect the unexpected when someone somebody has children, whether it be the male or the female. Mm-hmm. Or both. It doesn't it doesn't lessen the what I'm trying to say, even though he he's the the you know, the male and I mean he's a male in relationship having kids, mm-hmm. it doesn't lessen the responsibility. Right. It don't mean that he go get them whenever he just feel like it. Mm-hmm. And then we go out and then when we're not out hanging out, you know, I'm his girlfriend and then we're not when we're not doing nothing, then you can go get him. It don't work like that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now they might be sick mm-hmm. and the mama has to go to work, so mm-hmm. then she bring them over to daddy house because they sick. I mean you just right. You and you gotta work. You gotta work with that. You gotta eat that shit, and you gotta work with it. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why I say, if you if you're not gonna be okay with that, and it's okay to say you're not okay with that. Mm-hmm. I rather you say it's not okay that you're not okay with that than to get in it and then Just get mad. along and get yeah, hang along yeah. and and. and you know, we have mad. feelings, and yeah. then all of a sudden now you're mad, and no, mm-hmm. we're not doing that one. So, so what do y'all think about? Since everybody else talking about it, Gary, his situation, and old girl, I think he's testing her. Well, yeah. I don't, Gary, the thing is with Gary, Gary has <laughs> has a motive for everything that he does. Right. He's not doing it to gain because he's not gaining anything by doing what he's doing um he ain't gonna gain Andy back um you know um he don't want to marry you know it's it, he it's an agenda for him and him I'm talking only. about kissing I'm talking about kissing that's what I'm saying it, 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 it's, it's he's just doing it for the benefit of him that's it well I mean absolutely that's why I said it, it's it's he's doing it either to prove a point, he's doing it one or two things because mm-hmm. Gary is, Gary is. It's, it's he's, still he's about like, him. He, he's he's like that. The Gary is all about Gary, exactly. Yeah. And, and so it's gonna be he's gonna be like, see, told you, hey, not see what I told you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now that his stuff is in shambles, he wants Hayden's stuff to be in shambles as well. But the thing is, with, with you know, the thing is with Hayden, they both dirty. <laughs> they both dirty. Yeah. Well. They they gonna they gonna turn on each other. They tell you the truth. It's, it's gonna take it's gonna take Hayden to turn on Gary for mm-hmm. Gary to get get his ass handed to him. You know. Um, so they said that they have to do with the FBI. You had last time you had the FBI coming to my door. <laughs> Ooh, um, Lord. He's not that. Uh, he's not obsessed with Andy. He just don't like the fact that he can't control Andy. That's all that is. It, that because he don't want Andy, he just couldn't break Andy, and, and that and that's thing, what got him the way. That's the is. thing is, it's not if it's not him breaking up with you, then it's a problem. Right. He wants to be the one to 
<laughs> narrate. Yeah, you know the, the way it go, the way that the relationship go. Yeah, and since she had called it quits, mm-hmm. yeah, and moved on. <laughs> yeah, he don't like that. <laughs> he don't. He don't like that. Mm-hmm. I, I guess what what agitates me about it, and y'all we talking about it's it's a TV show. It's TV. This shit is not real, okay? We're just having a conversation about it. But what aggravates me about it is... <laughs> um, What's wrong? What? <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. No, let me Candy. <laughs> Anyway, uh, <laughs> what, what aggravates me is, hell, I lost my damn day. Something is, is, what was I? I'm going to say something about Gary. You said what aggravates you about Gary. It's something about, it's, it's, oh, it's the fact that Andy is so, so, um, what I want to say, she's so, into work to where she, her her where she come from ain't kicking in to to understand that she's being played. You know what I'm saying? Who? Andy. Andy. You know what I'm saying? I would know somebody playing with me. But that's the thing is that how they say love is blind. They've been blind to right. where you end right. up not they seeing said no what's street happening. Sense. Yeah. 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 Street sense. Um, what's happening to you? It's just it's just aggravating that people forget where they come from. They get they they work so hard to get here, then they get here and act like they ain't no they don't know none of this that's right here that they had to get through. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, ain't no way Gary could get a, get away with half the shit he getting away with if she would just use her fucking street sense. And it's just TV, y'all. It's TV. <laughs> uh what you say? Um, it's like she was shielded and wasn't taught protective instincts. She's very passive. Um, forgot all about her past. Yeah, you know. And 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 what I love about Danny is is you know we got the backstory on Danny. We finally got the backstory on Danny. But you would think that is that Danny would use what's being pulled out of her. And and use it to benefit, but she's using what's pulling out of her, you know, through therapy, as an excuse and and a reason to continue doing the silly shit she doing. Cause personally, I told baby, Danny does not need to be in a relationship. <laughs> she don't. I don't care what nobody say. <laughs> she don't need to be in no relationship because she sat here and at the end mm-hmm. where she is, was she writing down her thoughts or whatever, a diary or whatever, and she was saying how she wants somebody to love her for her. You had that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She had that. Everything that she was asking for when she's writing it down, she had that. Mm-hmm. She always seems to find a way to self-sabotage her relationships. Right, right. So she doesn't need to be in a relationship. She, Personally, I think Danny, the character, mm-hmm. is not girlfriend worthy. I don't think that she is. I don't think she's girlfriend material. Much less, I don't think she's... The character. Why? Right? That's, 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 that's what I said. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. The names on the show. Right. So, Danny is not wife material or girlfriend. And it's okay. Mm-hmm. It's okay because everybody's not. But she, I don't believe that she is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um... <laughs> she's like the home girl. Yes, she's like the home girl. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Wow. I. I. I okay. So. How? Let me ask you this. How do you feel about their friendship all together? Do you feel like all of them are friends with one another? Because with what I'm. It's like with Danny. Danny have to get so fed up. To where she goes off on each, you know, don't judge me, you know. Uh, and they have to get so fed up to to jump on because I realize they're they're being friends, but they're not telling each other what they're wrong. 
you know, you know you wrong for doing this. You know, the only way they say that you're wrong. Dude, Danny does. Danny does. Well, Danny does. But they always tell her to shut up. But she'd be like, can I say something? They'd be like, no, yeah, no, they do, they no. Do. So they do Dan, do Danny, they Danny do. does, but they always seem to shut that down. And I keep telling, I keep telling you, baby, that people don't want to hear the truth. They always feel like Danny is wrong when she addresses them. Right. Yeah. They always, they always shut up. But when she get to drinking, she'd be like, I got something to say. They'd be like, no, <laughs> you don't say nothing. <laughs> they do do that to Danny. Yeah. Oh man. And then she'd be like. Why y'all always be telling me to be quiet? Y'all know I be right. So she does. But then, you know, in a friendship, you have different types of friends. You know, you have people, you, to me, you I have. I a friend that's going to tell me the truth, though. But I'm just saying, you have people, you have, if you have multiple friends, all of them are not going to provide with the same thing. They're just not. They're just not. All of them are not going to provide honesty or tell you the truth all the time. You're going to have, you probably going to have that one who's going to so really keep it real. So then my question is why? They don't mean they're not your friend. Because if you're you going to be honest with me. It's not that they're not being honest with you. It's just that some people don't, that's not their, that's not, just not in, how should I put it? You know how you have people have different strengths and stuff, like and different weaknesses, and right. so so the same thing with your friends. Some people they have the you got the friend that you okay. I got that one friend who will speak up no matter what. I got that one friend. She's kind of passive. It's okay. But everybody brings something to the table. They don't all bring the same thing. So you got friends that am I? But what I mean, I'm but what I'm saying is is even though you got friends that have the different strengths. That's as though you know who to go you, to. You just, I, even though I say I got five friends and I know all their different strengths, I still want all them five friends to be honest with me. I would. I wouldn't want to look at it and say, uh, let me use Mo. I want to look at Mo and say, okay, well, I can expect Mo not to be honest with me. No. It's not that you not to expect them not not to be honest. They're gonna be honest with you, but hey, some Jessica. more some of them are more outspoken than others. Like say, uh, Q might be more outspoken than Mo. Right. So Q might be more prone to say, "Hey, swing nah, because you know what you did was right. wrong. However, Mo might be the person where she get to the point where it gets she has to get to that point and be like. Okay, now I gotta say something because you did you did Miss J Ron the other day swing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But it took that for her to say something. Because sometimes some people be like, "Let me kind of." So you stay saying? Out of so it. you're saying that it, it, it that the friend could be honest, right? It's just different times that they were right. Be Everybody's different. Okay, now let me ask this question: Say so you got Danny, Sabrina, Andy, and uh, Fatima, and Karen. Yeah, because she said some real uh, quick diva says because some people don't like confrontation, so some people think they're gonna they're gonna. I get that. However, how can I say I'm your friend and I'm I'm afraid of confrontation? I'm not being your friend if I'm yes, scared. If, 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 uh, again, if Danny, Sabrina, Andy, Fatima, and Karen all in in you know in one room, everybody's scared to say something to Karen because Fatima right there. My thing is, is say what you got to say. If you can say it to Fatima, you should be able to say it to Karen. You I should, mean, right. You but, should be able to, because you won't have no dog in that fight. So you should, whatever, now if they, if if Karen is uncomfortable, that's that's Karen. If Fatima is uncomfortable, that's Fatima. But me being a friend, I'm going to be honest with both well, of them sitting right there. I just got to say this, and maybe this will, I don't know. But you know how we all have been in a situation where we'd be like, you know what? I don't want to even say nothing because I don't even feel like arguing right now. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's the same thing with your partner that you do with your partner. It's the same thing that friends do. It's the same thing. It's the same. But a lot of people can stop being hurt but, if you just be honest. But we all been through that. I mean, sometimes people just feel like, okay, it's not the time, or I'm, I'm not gonna say nothing right now because the way I'm gonna come across. What I say, we all been okay, there. Okay, okay. What I say, the issue, the, how like, I say like, it. like the issue with Karen. They, 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 y'all, this is just a TV show. We are just, we are just playing it out as a TV show. <laughs> oh, that's like with Karen. Karen being pregnant. K Karen wanting the baby be for Zach. Karen going through all the, the, the shindig with Aaron. And Andy, Sabrina, and Danny sat there and watched her go through all that. Had it been me, me being a friend, 
I'm gonna set Karen straight in front of in front of Danny, Karen. I mean, in front of all of them. I'm gonna set them straight. Hey, look, you decide to sleep with these two motherfuckers and don't know who the daddy is. Don't drag me down this hill with you. You be down this motherfucking road by yourself. And my thing is, is then you can't get mad at me because I don't show up at your opening and because I don't agree with with the way you handling the the doctors and I got and and you can't get mad at me for telling Zach. You know, uh, to to get a DNA test, had all this stuff, had Danny, Sabrina, Andy, tell her up front. None of this stuff would have drug, drug on as long as it had. Well, Danny was <laughs> trying to tell her, and they shut her up. Y'all remember when they was at Karen's apartment that one night when Fatima when Fatima walked in. Mm -hmm. Before Tim, Fatima walked in. Danny was going to say something, but they keep telling her to be quiet. So she was the one that was going to say so something. Me, so, so basically you're saying that they care more about her saying that she's a friend than listening to the truth. Because that's what it sounds like. Where they want to shut down. Because if Danny being a real friend, Danny going to say it regardless if they tell her to shut that, up. I think, I, think, I think the other ones are to the point to where they're... Cause we want everything that we want everybody to be happy. We want everybody to be happy go lucky. Don't don't say nothing that's gonna start confusion or a problem. I think that's the way that Danny and they wanted Sabrina to, look they at They said they wanna just they wanna spread her feelings and right. didn't want Karen to feel attacked. That's what I'm saying, Rich. But, but they be, have to, they have to You have on. you have to you have to address it right then because for her not feeling attacked is why it's dragging it on as long as so now what's the problem? She had the doctor's office, now what's the problem? Why, why did, if she, they all, if she needed Zach DNA, why the fuck she went to the doctor first and not to, the, to Zach first to well, get the DNA? Then go to the doctor? And they said, let's go together. That's what <laughs> Zach or Fatima said, let's go together. Yeah, yeah. Let us all go together. That way nobody can assume nobody said or rigged anything up. Yeah. But she want to go to the doctor's appointment yeah. to say she wants the DNA. And not show up at the house. But she, but she there by herself. And then show up at the house about. I need a DNA. I need your DNA because you say you wanted it. Ah! <laughs> Give it an all the bite. Sorry, I'm eating your stuff. That's all right, <laughs> I need to be eating my own stuff. You give me something to drink too. That's why I was drinking yours and I ain't had none. I'm sorry. You thirsty? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You really have to be thirsty. I love you so much. Mm -hmm. Ah! Oh, we don't have any more of that stuff. Oh, what so what you say? Uh, she been trying to make Zach pay for all her pain. She need. She Come need. Come here. here. Oh. oh. Uh. I love seeing you two together as well. I love you. I appreciate it too. Hey, Lisa, Lisa. She uh. She has to take responsibility of putting herself through some of that pain, though. Where's your cup? You don't want a cup? Okay. Yeah, I don't um, Jack didn't put her through that. She put it through herself. I don't think she put. Hey, Lisa. When you say Zach, you she has to take responsibility of right. her part. Can't nobody put you through something that you didn't allow. Yeah, she has to take responsibility for her part in that as well. Let Zach take responsibility for his part, but she has to take responsibility, ownership of hers. Right. Mm -hmm. You got it? It looks like it's on there kind of jacked up. Right, it wasn't all on him, but she blames him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she can see, see that that's her. That ain't got nothing to do with him. This relationship with Zach and Fatima is not going to work be if they, if, if both, if both of them, not just Zach, but if Fatima and Zach allow Karen to keep pulling the strings, their relationship is not going to work. It's just not. And this crazy boy, <laughs> he's so happy about a child. He, just <laughs> he went out and bought all kinds of stuff. Fatima happened? found herself on the floor coloring them. She took them to coloring them the lines. Who made it that we supposed to trace outside the line? <laughs> I just I don't know who made it up. I just think that it was just pretty to to trace outside the line and color on the inside. Um, thank you, Reggie. Thank you, Reggie. Um, my thing is is why didn't Zach? Why don't Zach include Fatima 
on the decision that he makes. Like when he went and bought all that stuff. Why did he go with Fatima to do that? That's why she's feeling the way she's feeling because he going to do all this. He ain't even taking her into consideration. Even though that's his child, true enough. Then you still have to take your spouse into consideration on any decision that you make. That even includes in buying a damn tar. <laughs> oh, man. I think the team is rethinking this. I mm. hope not. What did you say? I don't think he meant... I don't think he meant to leave her out of his excitement, got the best of him. He may have not had meant to, to do it, but he done it. He gonna mess around and lose it because he he's so focused on what he wants and understand the child. The child is is uh first and foremost. However, when he think about the child, he have to think about his relationship with two. He gotta think about both of them. He can't just think about one. Oh yeah. Kids think about you know? okay, well, <laughs> He has to think about now that they have Michael. That's mm-hmm. the name, right, Michael? Yeah, Michael. Yeah. Now that they have custody of Michael, mm-hmm. now he has to think. He should have said, "Baby, what, what do you suggest we do next?" Even though it's in his mind, right. I'm going to buy him a whole make bunch her, of toys. Make her feel uh, like he considered her thoughts, right? Just like he thought of Michael when when all the stuff was in the living room, and Fatima said he got a whole room upstairs. Just like Zach made her realize, hey, I don't want to just lock him in the room. I felt that because he'd been locked up all this time. So, yeah, don't lock him in the room. But he took the time out to explain that to Fatima. So, if he took the time out to explain that to Fatima about Mike, how, Michael, how come he didn't ask Fatima for her input on what they should do next? Next. You know? Thank right, you, Mo. Thank you, Mo. You're right. You're right. <laughs> I just, I just hate that he's gonna let. Then yeah, because he's uh, ready to buy a bigger house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He did say that, right? Right, right. And it's okay to have that those thoughts and and thinking. And I love the fact that he's putting the child first. However, he need to put his his future wife, uh, you know, in that realm. You know, he he's making decisions with her and. He's making decisions with her without her. Hmm. That makes well, he's, sense. Yeah, he's already making decisions. Yeah. So he'll say, I was thinking that uh, Zach Jr. can come stay the summers with him. <laughs> Zach Jr. ain't even born. <laughs> and, and that ain't even his name. You, know <laughs> you don't even know if it's a boy. <laughs> you much less know if it's your baby. But he's he's already jumping the Look, gun. He's ready to turn in her car and get a mini man. She's like, <laughs> was so happy about that little sign. <laughs> he gave a baby on board. And then, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait. Did you see how he took that juice box? He said, <laughs> he oh, that juice box up. He, He's hilarious. <laughs> you say you gotta need to give a time and give him some of your view. No, you, you know, uh, don't we you gotta understand that we we talk about it because it's stuff that really actually happened. Mm. And I understand that Tyler, he's doing the show. We just talk about it for those that actually go through this stuff. That's all. We're not trying to tell nobody how to do it or what and, to do. And, and they see us. They see us. What you say? <laughs> my husband made one decision without me recording my stepkids and I acted a plum for I bet, I bet you. I bet you you did. I bet you you did. Yeah, because you still have to understand if we're in this together. Right. So right. that's what I would have asked if I was the team. I would ask that. What part of together do you not understand? Right, right. We're in this together. So before head hit pillow, we need to decide how this is gonna go. Right. You know, but make it a little more realistic. I understand, <laughs> Don. I understand. <laughs> I I understand. <laughs> oh man, what's up, James? I I see you. What's happening? <laughs> um. But it's, it is too many, uh, it's too many Zacks in the world that think uh, of the, the kids. kids. Yeah. And I mean, it's, it's good that he's thinking of, you know, his uh, son that way. But uh, Jessica says Zach wants to make everything right till he don't know which way is up. Well. Jessica, and the only thing I'm saying is that. 
He needs to. He, he needs to, to talk down. to Fatima. He needs. Down. To, yeah, he needs to talk to. He needs to sit down and have. It's not like they ain't, they don't sit down and have a conversation. Well, babe. They they don't have they they don't. Babe. S- huh. <laughs> oh, you have to got it. Or yeah. You didn't get it? No. <laughs> <laughs> but but. What they do. But Zach can't get, he can't get, he cannot be, um, what do you call it? What? He can't be, um, oh, shoot, what's the word? He can't be, when if they sit down and talk, he can't be, um, what's the word I'm trying to say? You know, the way he's going to take everything as a jab. Rich, or what receptive. Say? Yeah. Yeah, he has to be open. See, yeah. Oh, Rich, Rich understand, he doesn't hear the team man until he, she grab her purse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just that he needs to on be the open. Defense, huh? on yeah, the yeah, defense. yeah, that's yeah. it. Thank you, Mo. Yeah, you know, um, and it's not she's saying it only because of she don't care too much for the baby mamas. It doesn't have at this point, it doesn't have anything, especially with Michael. Right. It doesn't have anything to do with the baby mama. It has to do with we're we're a unit. We're family yeah. now. We're family. So he has to understand that when Michael gets sick, that the team is, who do they, they don't have to decide who's going to stay at home with him. You know, <laughs> you can't automatically assume that you that Fatima's going to be a stay-at-home mom. She the still has a career. Her. I feel the respect for her. They say, I feel like they sit down and have a conversation after one of their minds is already made up. Yeah. They're pretty much like, pretty much like Zay. Once he... He have a conversation after he didn't already did what he done or what he was going to do. Right. The team in the same way. Well, well, I mean, that's like what he said when he said, remember, I'm opening up an account for Zach Jr. and, 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 and <laughs> Michael. Stop saying Zach Jr. Stop that. He did. <laughs> did he not? He did. Stop saying So he had already had his mind made up and that's when Fatima looked up and like, wait a minute. <laughs> we need to make sure that yeah. we confirm that it's yours. That's, that's what I want to talk about, Pat uh, 3600. Why is her going to law school a problem? Because why is it a problem for her going to law school? Well, first we need to see where she was accepted. It may not have be it might may may not be local. Why is it a problem though? If if she's accepted somewhere other than where they live, it's going to be a problem. If he can pack up and move to a bigger house, he can pack up and move to where they need to be to, to go to law school. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that that could be it. I don't know why it would be. Well, no, yeah. she can work and go to law school. Yeah, and and, so and, 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 and and that's the problem with some people. That's the problem with some people. People would take what they their dream and put it down. Put on hold. Put it on hold just to fulfill somebody else's dream. And when somebody else's dream get fulfilled, that person that's been fulfilled forget about the person that put that dream down. So no, I wouldn't advise that. I would advise go your ass to law school, let him take care of his baby, and y'all still be together. That's just how I feel about it. Yeah, I, I mean, said it. No, I mean that's right, but I'm just thinking of the different options because we're just assuming. That is a local, you know, it might be in the area because she said that she was accepted. So my thing is, where? It, it, be, it that does, it, no, it but does no, not matter. Well, first, that, yeah, it does matter because that should be the first question. If I'm Zach, I'm like, okay, okay, good right. for you. Right. Now, can, where? You know, so that way we, because we need to start planning. We need to start making some At the, at the end of the day, if he can pack up and say, let's get no, a bigger house. Saying. And he can pack up and say, let's get a minivan. His ass can say, well, what are we moving to? Well, yeah. I mean, usually most people, that's it. realistically, most people don't say we're moving to. They try to, <laughs> you've been watching too much <laughs> fucking TV. Woo! Okay. 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 Yes. But I'm just telling y'all what it is. That's all. Yeah. I mean, you're right, but it's it's going to take more conversation than just, we're, nobody nobody says we're moving to unless that person just don't have no say. <laughs> I'm just saying. And usually it's the kids. Well, I'm just right. saying he he saying what he's saying and make, making bank accounts and 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 moving. Her, her. And Fire says Look. he also has a business to run. Wait, and he and he moved uh, Fatima office out of the out of the, uh, the area. Wait, where did he put Fatima office? If he put all the toys in her office where she put the computer, what the hell? She. I don't know. I don't know. Office? She said I'm to put it back. What he put it? He, he didn't say. He didn't say what he put. <laughs> She just said to Woo! put it back where he found it. <laughs> <laughs> and she on the, on the floor coloring mad. 
What, what man? Was she everyone? started culling outside the lines when she did after Angela got done talking to her. Let's talk uh, about Angela. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Patim is a solid partner. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Did y'all hear me? Yeah. That was my whole conversation about Angela. Y'all didn't hear me? Yeah, you gotta leave Angela alone. Y'all leave <laughs> Angela alone. <laughs> Angela mean well. She do. She mean well. I just don't. I don't understand why I she do called. Too, Miss Newsom. I Thank don't. You. I don't understand why Patima called her Angela. I understand they've been friends for years. <laughs> However, Angela is not the friend to call. Angela is not that friend to call. Just, just not. Yeah, just not. Mm mm. Mm, mm, I mm. couldn't hear nothing else she was saying. I could hear. <laughs> I couldn't hear nothing she was saying. All I heard was this right here. <laughs> if y'all understand what I'm saying, that's what I'm gonna say. I you heard. I saying. heard nothing but tata. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! But I, I'm with you. I'm with you. I, she's not. She's not the friend to call when it comes to uh, matters of the heart. Mm-hmm. She just like Pam. Yeah, I love. Pam. No, no, let's talk about prayer. Let's talk about prayer. Let's talk about prayer. I'm so silly. How um, how can Pam sell her products in the salon that don't have licenses to sell? Can she get sued if something goes wrong with that product that she's selling? Yeah, if somebody break out or something. Oh, man. Ah, Pam gonna put Karen in bangle. Yeah. <laughs> Before she had a child. Yeah. Um, but so let me ask this question. I'm so picking. when Karen walked up on it again, this is what I'm talking about, friend. When Karen walked up and saw Pam what Pam was doing, mm-hmm. why didn't she stop it? One, she knew it wasn't right. Two, she she did it without her cons- consent. Why didn't she stop it? Why didn't she say, okay, well, oh, this the money you made something? It's, it's the money flow. It's the money flow that gave it. It was, it was the money. She seen how the money, people just was willing to give up that money. And so she was like, well, press on but, like but then that. But then that's, so then who fault is going to be when somebody come back and say something wrong with the product? You can't blame Pam because Karen allowed it once she found out I mean, and didn't stop it. So then Karen can get mad at Pam, right? They can get mad. Well, no. it, 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 they both need to be held accountable. Well, number one, first of all, like you said, I mean, Karen should shut it down so she has the proper stuff to sell the products. Right. But Pam know better. Pam know better. Pam know better, but if Karen didn't stop it, she's in the clear. Pam, uh, she's uh, not in the clear. Karen cannot get mad at her on something she didn't stop when she found out. Because they can sue Pam and they can sue Karen. Because it's your shop and I'm suing her for selling it in your shop. Ooh, we Karen. You think you got baby daddy problems. <laughs> What's up, Miss Lay? Hey, Miss Lay. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I don't know. I I just felt like she should have stopped it. I don't care. Our money ain't good money. I don't care I, what, what what situation you in. I don't, I don't care what situation that. get you out of a situation. Our money ain't good money. And you gonna have to pay for that bullshit after a while. I'm, I'm just saying you have to pay for it. You gonna get you gonna have, you gonna have to pay for it. You gonna have to pay for it. Mm-hmm. And I'd rather go without before I have to pay for it. We I good. We good you? over here. Mm-hmm. So, the devil's money. I don't know if it's the devil's money. You just know which portion to, to mess with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Thank you, Jamaica. So, I'm just trying to figure out what, why Penelope is moving slow. She another one I can't, I can't figure her out. How the hell she, she kiss on somebody? As much stuff that she knows she got on Gary. That she was in his drawer that she got on Gary. Why is she moving slow on it? I can't understand her. She just I I, I leave Alicia alone. Yeah, if you click on her page, you understand who Alicia is. But leave her leave her alone. Leave her alone. We know who she is. Oh, um, she is the French too. The the thing I don't get. She you think she undercover? You think no. she pregnant undercover undercover cop? 
I see. I thought so too. You think I she's on the cover of Pregnant? I don't think she's really pregnant. You think so? Gary, I don't know. Gary, I don't know. Men are. <laughs> don't say men are idiots. Don't say it. Oh, wait, I said it. Men are idiots. My wife said it. I didn't say that. <laughs> but I do say it, but I didn't say it just now. Yeah, Gary would know that. Yeah, I think Gary would know that. Yeah, I do. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We're talking about sisters. First of all, we're talking about the show. <laughs> it don't mean that Gary would know that because he had said since she's been pregnant, they haven't had, they haven't done anything. But he, I, even I would want to touch a stomach or hear a heartbeat or... Men are... Girl... <laughs> You can tell a man anything about being pregnant. Be like, no, I can't do anything because you know until after the pregnancy because they don't know. They'd be like, okay, um, we don't know. I, I mean, now we're talking about in real life. That's different. But yeah. on the show, yeah. I just believe that she's not pregnant. That's just me, and I believe that it's all a setup somehow. I don't know how, but I believe I don't believe that she's pregnant. What <laughs> was saying? Look at me, Jay Frey. I gotta. Oh yeah, you better go binge, Miss Lay. She told me I gotta go binge. What about me? Oh, um, Mo. Uh, is it Mo that said that? Yeah, Mo said that was funny with the the look on Miss Jay Frey. <laughs> I know. I'm just. Uh, get Gary's the uh, wife, a uh, uh, girlfriend. Uh, I think she's the one. What you say? I think she. She is the one that got the feds after him. I think it's either between her or or um, what's his name that went to London. Uh, Robin. Robin. It's either her think, or Robin. I don't think. Uh, I don't think so because she was clueless when she seen the warrant in his office. Yeah. Because she said, "Yeah, what you didn't got yourself into?" I'm trying to understand why the hell she's still around. So you don't think she what? That she that she an uh, undercover cop. Oh, she's finding stuff out about him. She's gradually finding stuff out. That's why she digging. You can tell a man the sun is hiding the moon. <laughs> oh man! I mean, that's almost like you see how Karen. You see how Karen convinced Zach that it was his baby, and Zach wasn't gonna question anything until Fatima said something. Yeah. That's why I said, see. I, I mean, listen. Mm -hmm. When I say men are idiots, I mean to a certain degree. And when I say that, I'm not saying all men. If it don't apply, let it fly. Yeah. I'm just saying some men you can tell some stuff to, and they fall for the okie doke. We <laughs> see it all the time. They paying on a child that they thought was theirs. So I'm just saying it's possible that she it, she could be tricking him as well. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I don't know, but once I found some uh, a, a fake passport, I would be in the wind. I, my ass would be in the wind. You wouldn't have to worry about me. Because wherever some trouble with Gary, I'm going to be right there with you. Because when Gary go down, guess what? They're going to uh, associate everybody that Gary is associated That's with. That's why I'm taking pictures of all that. <laughs> and I'm gathering my information and I'm going to the FBI and I'm saying, look, Shh, I be in the first wind. of all, I'm going to sit down like this because I'm pregnant. <laughs> Since y'all say she's not part of the FBI, then I'm going to the FBI and I'm going to say, this is what I don't know what this means, but I know it ain't right. Yeah. And this is what I found. So can y'all help me figure out what's going on with Gary <laughs> slash Thomas slash Carl slash what it, yeah. all these aliases he has? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once I saw that, mm, I'm not asking her when. You're going to have to find me. You're going to have to find another uh, P.I. Because she, she let him talk to her crazy. Yeah, yeah. She lets him talk to her crazy. And, and what black woman in, in corporate America allowed that to happen? That's shit. why I kept saying that maybe she's undercover. That's why she's tolerating it. Cause shit. Get your ass cut smooth out on this camera. Talking to me crazy. The yeah. People investigate who's responsible for this. <laughs> Get that ass smooth cussed out. Shit. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -mm. Not doing it. <laughs> Not doing it. I'm just, I'm saying. Because, well, the, the character is making her seem gullible and, and weak. Right. You know, um, and she more pregnant than Karen. So and, I mean, he just talks to her. That's why I kept saying she's got to be somebody that's, re you know, trying to find out what's going on about him or something because this just ain't no way. Yeah. Well, 
Mm-hmm. Who's next on the topic? On the hot topics. Okay, are we done with sisters? No, no, no. I want to talk about Sabrina. Sabrina. Oh, it's Sabrina. Sabrina. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, baby. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Baby got a question, y'all. I mean, well, well. Or is it a statement? The, the, the statement I have to make if she freezing her eggs why does she need validation from any of her friends or the man that she's dating I just want I want to ask that question if she's freezing her eggs why does she need to tell everybody why does she need validation from her friend and the man that she's dating why when not I just tell, well, I'm gonna put on some lip gloss when I come back I'm gonna answer your question why not just freeze your egg everybody everybody waiting to everybody everybody, everybody, everybody. <laughs> Uh, Cause I know that she's going around telling everybody I'm gonna freeze my eggs. I'm like, why is she telling people that? You know, I just wouldn't tell nobody that. I just she wants support. Why do you want support if people are against it? What if you say she wants support? Well, what ha- what happens when the camera said no? Nah, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't advise that. Or Andy said, well, no, don't don't. What if they didn't support that? Then what? <laughs> Because at the end of the day, it's her decision. Whether they support it or not, it's still her decision. Ah. You say why and how is Andy handing out all these chicks? <laughs> oh, man. Somebody say because she can't make up her mind. I think she's just asking... I think she's saying it just to say, you know, well, yeah, I think you should just to get confirmation. But why? I don't need confirmation on a decision or something that I want to do with my life concerning another life. I mean, but some people do ask friends for stuff. They ask, we all have asked for opinions on different stuff. I thought about doing something such and such. What do you think? Even though you might have it made up in your mind, but you just still, you still ask now about her asking, oh boy. Mm -hmm. I think, the script didn't go the way that she wanted to. See, he didn't get the script. <laughs> See, he was supposed to say, oh, you know what? Well, no, because we're going to have some of our own or whatever. It didn't work out. She thought that it was going to work, be totally different than what he said. You know, because he said, I think you should. Right. Just in case things don't work out. Between us. Between us. That's not, what she, that's not what she was wanting to hear. See, he didn't get the script. But the thing is, is he agreed. He agreed. She, she, she wanted support. He agreed. He agreed. And, and that should have been it right he, then. But, okay, boom. I'm going. No, 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 no. But he said, basically, he's saying that I, I you can I do it, but as long as I'm not around. But see, that's not what she was wanting to hear. She was wanting to hear that he was want, that he wanted and that too. And at the too. same time, then then when she realized that that's not what he wanted, right? Because she had that dumb look on her face. Why go to Andy, Karen, and and then? Look, Miss Tina, I know she just met him, girl. That's what I was saying myself. I was saying she brought it up. She she done scared the poor man. She talking about having the babies and a house with a white picket fence and all that stuff. And I But that she just know what they want. Well then Sabrina just know what Ms. she wants. Miss Tina, then you know what she should have done? Uh Thank you, Sid. Is she should have when they got to know each other, she should have said, well, I, you know, I really like to get married and have kids one day. What about you? And if he would have said no, because I like my freedom, that's where the, the but he said, relationship he should said, have ended. He said that. He said that. After she got gained, got feelings. That, no, no, That's no. after they done slept together and got feelings. That was three months later. But she didn't say that she wanted kids. That's I know, but that's what But I'm when she did say she wanted kids. And he said he, he liked said. his freedom. He said, I like my freedom. So then it's on, then, then it's on Sabrina. Then she should have moved around. Okay, so again, I'm asking, so you should have, you heard my wife. She should have moved around. So now my question is, why is she going around telling everybody she freezing her eggs? Just as, because they're close, they're friends, and they all always tell each other everything. So she's just letting them know what she's planning on doing. That's all. And you do want somebody, when you're going through that, because of what the process entails, you do want support. You do. Okay. Yeah, we talked about Dan and Tony first. <laughs> baby said, okay. <laughs> okay. Let me take my jacket off. Baby making me hot. Are you hot? No, I'm not hot because no. I'm trying to understand. I just don't need to. Yeah, I just don't need to. 
my friends don't have to come tell me that they freezing their eggs. One, I don't understand this. Well, so. you ain't the one that gonna be there for you. You wouldn't be there for support. I mean, Baby, I'm asked, me this shit. First, I don't care. first of all, she asked too many. Let me tell y'all something about this y'all little friend swing therapy. <laughs> she asked too many questions to where you'd be like, you know what? Never mind. Forget I even brought it up. Please, I promise you. Just forget <laughs> I even brought it up. Never mind. Now, I'm, so, I'm going to make you make it make sense. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask you questions after you ask me a question. I'm going to ask you 20, 20 questions behind it. Plus, you can make 20 it make plus, sense. 20 plus. Yeah, to make it make sense. I was, trying, it make sense I was trying to tell baby a story today. Not even a story. I was trying to tell her about... What was I trying to tell you? I don't know what I was trying to tell you, but you know how you have to set it up to tell the person about something and you got to set it up to where it makes sense? But she started questioning so much to where I said, you ruined the story. I don't even want to tell you the story. I don't anymore. remember. We was in the car. I can't remember. What we no, was we was about. in bed. And I said, you ruined the story. We were talking about, we were talking about ghosts. We were talking about power. No, we were talking about Canaan. What? You detect the inactivity during your current complete. What? Uh Okay. Oh, okay. I had what is the, that? I don't know. I had the That must be something new. <laughs> That's because they have to talk enough to keep her. What? what? Okay. <laughs> All right. But I don't know. I don't know. Well, I just. I'm, hey, it got to make sense for me. That's all I'm saying. It just got to make make sense. And until I get a um, an understanding, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to have a brain freeze when it comes to that. <laughs> I'm just saying, I just think that she's telling her friends. You need your glasses on. Ain't nothing makes sense right now. I'm just saying <laughs> she, needs to, she needs to tell her friend. I mean, it's okay for her to tell her friends what she's planning on doing, you know. Yeah, that's no different than. Thank you, Sid. You thank you, Sid. Uh, the where you um, you know, you'll be like, you know, I've been thinking to get about getting a a wedding dress with a long train. What y'all think? You know what I'm saying? This is the same thing. But at the end of the day, she the one got to wear the dress. I so know, why but you just still. Be... Well, you still ask opinions though, because sometimes people be like, "Well, you know, due to the where you're having it, it's on the beach, do so you really want to?" And he'd be like, "Oh, well, you know what? I didn't think of that. Okay, you know, so you just it's that's okay. That's like being somebody over, and then you ask me how this bikini look. What you mean? You can't, I can't see it. It ain't there. Uh -huh. Everything else is covering up. But when they, that's like asking somebody that's overweight how this bikini look. You can't see it. Damn. How's what look? <laughs> just, I'm just how, what, how what look so? A bikini. On who? On a big person. You wouldn't be able to see if you put a big person had a bikini on, you wouldn't even see it because well, all this would be over. Well, and they make them for them. It's, just, it's no longer really a bikini, but. You know what the hell I meant. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you know what the hell I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I'm Rambo. just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Shit. Well, I'm just saying. That's like you know the answer to the, some of the questions that you ask. If you, you know the answer to the questions you ask, that only means you want validation on something you know the answer to. Well, people do. We have people ask us stuff in here, stuff that they know they know the answer to after they hit enter. They knew the answer. I'm What's next? I'm just saying. <laughs> so y'all, let's jump on all the queens men. What y'all think about all the queens men? Let me tell you, Madam ain't playing with y'all. Oh, Madam ain't playing with y'all. Madam, Madam ain't playing with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Again, I'll, this is a question I got. This is a question I got for El Fuego. El Fuego, my question to you, my brother, is if you don't like what you see and what's going on, why don't you go move your ass out of town? I would have just 
been gone in the wind. You would see nothing but ass and elbows with me. For you to understand that stripping <laughs> ain't for you, my brother. It ain't for you. It, my thing is, is how is he able he to get now. on? How can he get on stage after knowing his car and blew up, his computer didn't been hacked? How you get on stage and 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 Do drop it like yeah, drop it like it's hot, like nothing happened? Yeah. Cause she told him he locked in now. Hmm. But I'm thing. saying when he seen when he um <laughs> when he went in and got not Casanova what's the what's the uh, Big D when he got Big D out the basement that's when he should have moved around. Man. But when he seen Big D when he seen that video of them he should have moved around. It's too late now because like you said he locked in yeah. now. And another thing, Madam and went and bought this man a car. The last place I would drive it is to that motherfucking job. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't but bought all but it went bottom then oh lord let's talk about baby face. Baby face is stuck on a car, y'all. He stuck on wanting the 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 the, the, the lady tandy to buy him a car. I'm still trying to understand that. What the hell out of all things to get out of this woman, he wanna get a car. He ain't asked for a house, he ain't asked for an apartment, he asked That's for a car. That's what he needed a place to stay. <laughs> he need a place to stay. <laughs> Yeah, you think he will learn from uh, Miss, uh, <laughs> what's her name, Brenda Pam? What's her name, Brenda Pam? Oh, Patty, Miss Patty. Patty. yeah. You think he would have learned from the whole Miss Patty incident <laughs> to get him a place to stay? Oh, man. In his name. Uh, Rufo, yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to understand. And and I still ask baby, every time the show come on, I said, baby, why he got to go stay with somebody? How come he can't go get a hotel room with the money that he make? And they dance every night. How come he can't get a hotel room? Why he got to go lay up on, on somebody else in somebody else's and then want this woman to buy him? Or you, you you said you was going to buy me a baby. You said you were going to buy me a car. <laughs> she looking like not right now. Yeah. She ain't going to buy him no car. She ain't going to buy him shit. She going to let him, of all she the gonna let him to continue buy. with his services. And then when he get done, then she going to throw him away. With I'm, I'm telling you. Is this trash then? Yes. That's trash? Yeah. You didn't want this one here? Mm -mm. Yeah. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> oh. Mm, mm, mm. That's what I got. That, that's what I got. Uh, who else I see? Who else? Who else? Mm, much else went down. Yeah. Um. What y'all think about Amp and and uh and Dime? Dime. Yeah, I think Dime is, is being too hard on Amp after he's is I mean, but I understand Dime. When Dime say you got to do this for yourself, like he say he getting uh therapy and he's he's working on himself, but he made it to Dime. Even though he's doing that, he made it to Dime like he's doing it for Dime. And Dime is basically saying, I, I'm glad you're doing this, but you got to do it for yourself. So him doing it, he got to be okay with Dime not wanting him back. And why they got to hide anyway? Why they got to hide? Remember when the, the part where Dime, uh, Dime said, I don't want this to uh, confuse nobody in this? But then the people grown. Why they got to hide? And Babyface being a little bitch. Babyface, man, <laughs> Babyface, he's a shit starter. He's a shit starter because he went back there and told that stuff for Amp and, o and Big D to get into it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, see, now, if Amp would have fought him, then that would have set that back with Dime. Right. And they would have been right back at square one. But they grown. They, they grown. I, I, I just feel like they grown. Thank you, Big B. I just, hey, Big B. It, everybody grown, so why I got to hide how I feel about somebody? I ain't got to hide. It's just me. It's just me. It's just sometimes it don't the workplace don't it don't need to be known in the workplace because when things don't work out, then see now everybody talking. You see they what don't saying? talk anyway, and, and, and they not they don't have nothing to say if they don't know that we're dating. Ain't nobody got shit to say. It's always know. somebody gonna know. It's gonna, it's gonna always be somebody watching. Watching, watching. 
you know. Um, so what you think about trouble? Trouble, you know, is she trying to get in good graces with Madam? Is why I mean, what's what's her deal? She was trying to she was trying to get in good graces with Madam, but but I feel like her being able to be on you know be on the stage that's enough by itself because. When she lied on Madam, she could have she could have been very well kicked out the door. So, mm hmm, mm, now that one I can't understand either. I leave well enough alone. Look, I'm still on 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 day. Shit. So, what y'all think about Ray <laughs> What you think about Ray Sean? <laughs> she got him out. Then Madam went got him out of jail. So now he feel like a little puppet. I mean, he was that anyway. He was that anyway. And the thing about it is, I mean, like she, she got, she went to go get him because he's a valuable piece, right? I mean, by behind that that man, yeah, right. And see, the thing is, we don't know what Frago can you say his El name? Fuego. El Fuego. Excuse me, Chris Brown <laughs> saw because he he said you don't want to see this, madam. Remember, because he he got the videotape right, from, right. and I, I'm assuming it has to do with Tandy's husband at the hospital. Right. I don't know, but I'm assuming that's yeah. what it is. Well, because she said she wanted the footage at the hospital, so it had it either had something to do. Tandy probably done something to her husband, or she had somebody do something to her. That 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 DA or whoever she is, she probably done something to, to that him, man. Yeah, yeah, in order for. Her to, um, yeah, yeah. Well, we're well. gonna see, but Rayshawn is he? He think he have no idea. He's in. He's in deep. He's in this deep. And then, let, let me let me tell Tommy something like, Tommy, 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 Tommy. Let me tell you something, Tommy. Madam, Madam, do you need anything? That Tommy, Tommy, listen, Tommy. Let me tell you, you something. You need any special treatment, <laughs> Madam? Tommy, listen to me. <laughs> Stop asking Madam if she need anything. Let Madam tell you what she need. And Tom, if you keep asking Madam for stuff, she Madam gonna keep saying no. Wait for Madam to tell you what she want. And Tommy, and Tommy, Madam don't want no damn cookies every damn night. <laughs> yeah, Tommy, stop begging. Yeah, Tommy, stop it, Tommy, stop it, stop it. Don't ask nothing else. Just do what's being asked of you. Stop asking. You actually was promoted, Tommy. Yeah. You was promoted from <laughs> uh, PL <laughs> duties, right? Uh, you was prom you was promoted from doing PL duties right. to you know being at the club and. And yeah. all that stuff all the time. So you ought to be glad. <laughs> I would think. Tommy, stop asking Madam stuff. Just stop. Just 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 do it. Make sure she's home. Make sure she's taken care of. But you know, don't, don't say nothing. Tommy, don't let nothing Tommy had a nerve to sit there and ask you, too. He said, Madam, you want any PL? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You said, do, you, <laughs> do you want some PL? <laughs> okay. You don't want no PL? <laughs> I got some cookies in the back. <laughs> I got some cookies oh, in the back. Shit. Oh man, now, Tommy, you know Tommy just uh, hey, hey Tommy, I'm telling you from from you know from the heart. Stop asking Madam what she need. If she needs, she will tell you she need it. If she wants your cookies, Tommy, she'll let Tommy, you know. Because Tommy, she be talking to your ass crazy. Oh, uh, somebody don't know what PL is. Somebody don't... PL? It's... Do you want your PL? Licking? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Oh. Hey, second to none, he's hey, officially none. was the P licker. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, what else I had to say about that? Here. How many by show of hands? I want to see some. She said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> By show of hands, I want to see something. How many people want to see Tommy on that stage? Take take Big D off. No, uh, take Big D or take Babyface off and put Tommy up there. Who want to see Tommy? Who want to see Tommy uh, on stage? I'm just trying to see something. <laughs> Anybody want to see Tommy on stage? 
<laughs> I tell you what, you you can't take baby face off. He will get the crying. That, uh, hey, baby face, he got the he got the uh, be in with Tandy. He ain't got time to strip. And after a while, Tandy gonna say she don't want him on that stage. So, how many people want to see Tommy on the stage? But I rather I I want them to give trouble. I want them to give trouble. Uh, I rather I want them to give trouble. Trouble needs her own. She needs a spotlight. Like you know, like yeah. we, I think they should have it to where. Each week, that stripper has a spotlight. Like they did with Babyface. Yeah, like how Babyface yeah. had his spotlight, his own dance. Right. Then Trouble needs to have hers. And Doc needs to have his. And you Look know, Tommy looks rhythm less. Oh, he do, he don't. don't say that. No, he don't. He actually Tommy does. look like he, he, he can give you a show. I'll take Tommy over Babyface, too. I would. I'd I mean, I'll take time baby. over baby face, but I, don't, I I wouldn't expect... He would shock me if he come with some rhythm. <laughs> he would shock Tommy. me. Because the only rhythm I see is in that wrist <laughs> with them cookies. <laughs> them cookies in that Tommy, spatula. Tommy, shut them up, Tommy. Come on, Tommy. I know you're watching this. Tommy, shut that ass up and get on that stage. You in trouble. You in trouble. You on one side and trouble on the other. <laughs> He can't stand trouble. He can't. Oh, yeah. He's how he crazy. He be talking to trouble. He do that because Madam talk crazier than him. Right. Yeah. And Tommy only do what's been done to him. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just saying, y'all. I, hey. But I think that they Tommy, should give trouble. Trouble, trouble and Tommy. Trouble, yeah. trouble should have a, a chance. I'm thinking trouble is getting disgusted and ain't going to cut up with that dude. I think so. I hope she don't. You know, um, when they asked us what was locked up, they about to lost their damn mind. So that should have been enough to say, I don't want no shit. You know, but that's the wrong thing to do because they talking about hitting stash houses and stuff like that. Yeah. You mess with people's money. Yeah, that's guaranteed to get you um, jacked, unalive. Jacked up. Yeah, mm-hmm. you you be unalive real fast. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And they see how the cops already come to and got them in the middle of their routine. I mean, cops <laughs> said, she was over there, she was over there. She's like, she's like, oh man. We just said, the stairs house is going to be mad. Yep. See? Yep. Oh, Lord. Let yep. Me tell you. She going to hit the wrong, they going to hit the wrong house. Not she going to be off in either. that basement. Yeah, do you see she didn't play with him? She damn sure ain't gonna play with trouble ass. All right, trouble. All right, all right. Oh man. So let's uh let's get on the oval. I really don't have nothing to say on the oval. I I, <laughs> I really don't other than you know uh Bobby baby sleeping with some mom. I still don't get that part. I don't understand what was the purpose of that. Um, he's a man. The whole point, the whole part, we would be to ask why she did it. We know why he did it. It's a man. He's a man. <laughs> uh, you said I can't even watch a full episode. I, it's hard. I mean, it, it's not like it was when it the first came on. It doesn't. The the storyline doesn't yet. flow. It doesn't fit. like a regular conversation. You know, like a regular conversation. We're talking, and you see how I'm doing like this. Yeah. Well, I'm there to go. So I was thinking. You was thinking what? Well, I was just thinking the other day. You was thinking the other day of what? I was thinking if I should go. You was thinking you should go where? That's how it go, y'all. That, that's, that, like, that's how it go. That's not even how a real conversation <laughs> go. It flows. Hey, yeah. the other day, I was thinking about, you know, going to get my, you, you know, know, license. What? You know what? I was thinking the same thing. You think so? Yeah. Well, let's do this. You know, but that, they, they spend 15 minutes on, <laughs> on one line. On one little thing. And it's like, it's just. Yeah. It's just oh, not going to get man. it. So and we, Nancy keep carrying her. At, okay, now I got to Where is she y'all. headed to? Did go see. Should, go. How many people your child can call your phone and tell you to bring all your money? I know I can't do it to my mom. But how many people can call your, your children can call your phone, tell you to get up all your money and come meet them at the address? Well, first of all, she said this don't sound right. like. Right. So if you know what your child sounds like, so why you continue the conversation? Right. Right. <laughs> and then go get all your money, go to. And then she in the car talking. <laughs> and then she want to call. Did she call Sam? Sam, yeah. She called him after the fact. Man. So I, 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 I can't. 
I watched the oval for support, but I can't really. <laughs> they gonna give Nancy something she can't recover from it. <laughs> she recovered from all that stuff they gave her. To... <laughs> yeah, I, I can't do it, y'all. Oh. I, I can't. I, and 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 all of a sudden, Victoria feeling bump her head. I mm, I can't. I can't. I can't. Uh, I don't think that was the president's son, because the president, because um, Sam got him. Sam has the president's son. Yeah. He doesn't have. He didn't have. Um, what's what's their son's name? Nancy's son's name. Uh, uh, Barry. They don't. He didn't have Barry's phone. He didn't have Barry's phone. Yeah. So. Yeah, because Barry was on the outskirts. He ain't really. He ain't deal with people in the. Well, it don't, it Barry, the, Barry, the president only knew who Barry was. And Barry and Barry was and, talking to yeah, ba- Barry and um, the president's son don't even seem like they would even right get along on that level. You know, they only lines are all okay. And sir, and sir, yeah, and sir, that's it. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes ma'am. Sir. sir. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, that's that's all. <laughs> sir. Oh man! Oh, so what other show we got? Um, How many people watch Raising Cain? Yes, up here say. How many people watch Raising Cain? Rack, right? rack. Right? Let me tell you something. Rack, right? rack right? ain't playing about her child. She ain't playing about her child, and I'm so glad Neek. I ain't like Neek, but I'm so glad Neek came back. Neek, Neek say when you can, when you want to allow somebody, you make sure they on alive. I'm so glad. What? Did you take that already or not yet? Hmm? I said, did you take that already or not mm-hmm. yet? Oh. Not yet. Not yet. 30 minutes after. After I eat. That's why I thought I get off my Okay. Okay. Um, Raising Canaan is something to watch out. Um, yeah, that was the season finale too. Yeah. <clears throat> that, hey. It I threw mean, me. It threw me. Um, I, for a loop. Yeah. I love Raising Canaan. Um. Was you expecting that? Mm, I was hoping Neat wasn't dead. I did. It, I don't like Neat because uh, he, he kind of iffy, but I was hoping he wasn't dead. No, uh, I'm saying, was you expecting that? Kanan to do what he did? Yeah, yeah. Because I didn't see that I coming. Think I, yeah, because he he went crazy with, um, with old boy about <laughs> his mom. And she went crazy about her child. So, yeah. Now, I didn't, what I didn't expect was the daddy. I didn't expect uh, rap to to do in um, his dad like the that. The dad, yeah, I didn't expect that. She did that without even a thought. Yeah, it, Brett, he knew it's too on, much. It's on stars, right? Yeah, it's on yeah. stars. But when you asking somebody to, <coughs> to choose between your family member <coughs> and somebody you ain't related to, uh, he should have expected that. He should have sat his ass down somewhere. So. <laughs> He wanted to go and he wanted Rack to turn in the brother. Is either the is either it was either Canaan, Rack, or him. And she and he wanted her to choose. No, she wouldn't she wasn't gonna give up her family. She wouldn't get in now. Hey, hey. He should have saw that. I saw that shit coming a mile away. Hmm. Nah, but that was good. That was a good one. I'm glad they got rid of uh Ron Ass. Ron Ass would look crazy. That it, uh, uh, 50, 50, if you watching, you had me not wanting to watch the show. Ronnie was going to continue being on there. That motherfucker was crazy. Ronnie was. <laughs> like, something up here. I almost I stopped know. watching. I almost stopped watching. I can't do it. Before he went in or after he got out, I don't know what <laughs> happened, but in between those two, oh my gosh. He, he, he's, he was cuckoo. Mm. He mm. was cuckoo. Whoever he is playing that character, you played that character really well. You sure did. Oh, oh man. I'd have been playing. <laughs> man. It was the institution of life that uh, he was in there for so long. so long. Oh, oh, okay. All I know is, see, I'm surprised he even got out. If he has that kind of mentality, yeah. it seemed like whoever aggravates him, he would have been done, snapped him in half. So I'm surprised he even got out. Man, Wee. what's the brother that, that plays uh, Snapping Pops? I, I, what, what's, what's the brother? I, didn't he? He played in. Oh, he played in. Um, he played Winter with Eddie Murphy. He played with Eddie that. Murphy. The one what was it? Eddie Murphy was no. What Eddie was next hell when he slept with over? I can't remember the movie so long, but I just know he was in Waiting to Exhale. He played the Y. I didn't watch the Y. What's the other one he played in with? 
Huh. Was it waiting to exhale? Yeah. He was in waiting to exhale. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He he was with uh what's her name? What's old girl's name? Oh, I see her face. I can't uh, Leela Rashawn. He's oh, like, okay, 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 okay. Right? Uh I wanna yeah, say Yeah, that was her. That was her. Yeah, that was her. Okay. Yeah, that was her. They say yes it was. He played a Selena movie. Yeah, yeah. He playing his role on Raising Cain. He, yeah, he playing his role too. Now the lady that's his wife. Oh, he played in Selma. Yeah. What well, part he played in Selma? He was Martin, right? Who yeah, was he was Martin? Uh, uh, no. I didn't. Did I see Selma? I don't think I seen Selma. Uh, I don't remember him in Selma. I watched Selma, but I don't remember him in. Um, who is the lady that's playing his wife? I've never seen her in anything else. Um, uh, who is the lady playing, like playing his thing. wife? Huh? I've never seen her in anything, but, you know, um, are we talking about power? No, we're talking about, uh, Raising Cain. His wife is running everything. Oh. See, she seemed like she's running everything. That's why I just said. Oh. She seemed like she's running everything. His name is Wendell Pierce. Okay. Wendell okay. Pierce. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's his name. Well, he playing his role. Wendell Pierce. Yeah. Wow. Um. So, the thing is with... Let me ask y'all this. When Fame made that song talking about what he did or you know, um in the song, couldn't he get can he get arrested for that? And that's like admission, right? In, admission, right? No, you could be talking about something that you did, but it don't mean that you did it. You know how many people have you know how many rappers talk about the lifestyle and they, they grew up in the suburbs? Why? I mean, but he, he, I don't know. I just felt like when they arrested him, that's the first thing I thought was of his song. What he sing, what he sang in his song is. Somebody, because somebody could have even told him that story. It don't mean that he did it. He could have just been saying, oh, that's good material to rap about. But it don't mean that he did it. said they can use it against you. I don't think so. You still have to have proof. Anybody can use, I can go around singing a song about, um, a 187 somebody or whatever but it don't mean that I did it wait how do you know what a one eight, what, what's a 187 baby unalive somebody how do you know about that baby how you know I'm saying it right damn <laughs> <laughs> give me something don't leave me right <laughs> woo alright they play their songs in court but again, if, even if they play the songs in court, you still have to have Fanny proof. Willis. Fanny Willis is her name. Okay. You, you still have to have ago. proof. See, it was a couple of rappers not long ago arrested and the music was used against them. But you still have to have proof. Yeah. You can't just say, well, your songs say you unalive somebody on Tuesday night on Fifth Street and somebody <laughs> on Fifth Street passed away it don't mean that i did it <laughs> it might be somebody might have told me about it so my thing is you still have to have proof yeah. you have no weapon you have no body you have no proof you just got me singing about it <laughs> what'd you say um and they still need proof the same rappers are whining winning the trial okay yeah <laughs> oh, oh this is how we do it <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, the true Capricorn. Yes, she is. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, man. But what else? What other one you had? Yeah, that was it? That, mm -hmm. that was all of them, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. let's talk about the Monique, y'all. Okay, let's... now we're doing Tic Tac, Tic Tac tabloids. Yeah. These are allegedly. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, let me, can I, I'm, I'm going to just say, would you say they had proof because the mom giving the gun to the police? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, let me, let me say this about, about the Monique situation. Um, anytime a person constantly, consistently say what's wrong and what happened and the story ain't changed, you shouldn't have a problem understanding that this part of a person's life has hurt them. I'm just say that. Um, 
I asked baby the other day. I said that, and I and I hate this for Monique. I hate this for Monique. I, I do, I do. But I asked baby the other day. I said, okay, Monique went through this. She been blackballed. She 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 she, she showed that people have, you know. She's been telling the truth on the stuff that she's witnessing and went through. However, it's been so long ago now. If they have not apologized and they're not going to apologize, I ask baby, I say, why is it still a topic of discussion? Because she's not going to get the satisfaction that she deserves because one is already taking too much time. It went by. Two, when they if if they was to ever apologize, if they was to apologize, she wouldn't get the satisfaction of that apology because then she would forced. think yeah. It's not sincere. Because it's not yeah, because she because they had to be proven right. that they were wrong. So now my, my question to baby was, okay, she got her story out, she hear it. They, they, you, you see the proof of it. Now what? Now what? She has to just let it be. She put it out there. She got receipts, and you just have to let it be. You just gotta let it play. Right. Let it, let it run its course, right. and it's gonna do what it's gonna do. Because best believe, you know, as we can see, they hear and they see you. Yeah, and so, they, and they still haven't. Right, and they still haven't. The people that have wronged you still haven't said, "I'm sorry, I wronged you." You, you not gonna get the millions that you lost. They, that baby had to explain to me the other day that saying "I'm sorry" is an admission of guilt. They're not gonna say "I'm sorry." They're not gonna ad admit to being guilty. Yeah. So you ain't gonna get the sorry that. You deserve. Yeah, because saying sorry is a mission saying I did some I did something wrong. Right. So they don't want to be known as because uh, then I'm admitting that I did something wrong. Right. God forbid I do something wrong instead of just saying you know what I'm sorry, Mumli. I didn't even realize the that impact or how it would affect you. I am so sorry. Yeah. Um, I know I can't get back. You know, right. from the time you know what what has happened or what you know what you went through, I can't. Yeah take that back but I just want to let you know that I did not realize how bad that hurt you and I want to say that I'm sorry right. it it doesn't take much sometimes it kills people just to even say the word yeah. you know just like just, just <laughs> yeah. say it just yeah. say it you know yeah but um, it, the, 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 the back and forth that she got going on with DL and the feeling like it, and I, I commend her husband her and her husband getting on there and clarifying what was said in the manner it was said. And and what was good about them and, and she was what her and her husband did was be an example of what she wanted. They can be they was able to get up there and apologize. Hey, I said this is this is how it went. Now I didn't say this, but this is how it actually went. They were able to get up there and, and clarify, and clarify mm -hmm. you know, what what was and what wasn't. But the thing with DL, and, and, and bless the brother, I don't know him like that. But to get on there and just start bashing on something that was... Then you're that, with that, a it, was, it was a discussion. Stop arguing with a female. Yeah, it's, it was a discussion. Like. <laughs> you know, and, and the question I have, and... and, and the other question I have is when Monique was on there talking to Shay Shay, and Shay Shay said, "What would it take?" And she said, "All she, hey, let's come on here and have a discussion." She opened the door for a discussion, and the only thing he can come up with is bash and talk about. I can do is say, you know what? I'm gonna take you up on that, yeah. Monique. Uh, Shannon, set it up. Call my people, or my people gonna call you. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hash this out. And see, I know Pretty Smiles, you said that people uh, apologize to her in public. I mean, in private. No, it was no, no. done. It was, you it was you done. need to do it in public. It, you did it in public. It, it, it you need to be apologize in public. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. don't do that. You don't do who, that. Who, who are we to say that it really happened? Right. 
You know, he. I can say I apologize knowing I'm darn well I didn't. Right. But my thing is, if you embarrass me in public, you need to apologize to me. In public. And, and for Miss Newsom, I don't think the Shannon Sharp show is being messy. If they're allowing them to come on and tell their truth, and it's and it's being it's been exposed. And people take being exposed as messy. And being messy. It's not being messy. Tell, it's tell being exposed. Yeah. And, and, and what's, what's getting me is all this stuff coming out. The only problem I have with it is why is it coming out now and didn't come out when it happened? See, what gets me is everybody do all that they do. Step on each other and undercut each other and get where they try to get. And they get up here. And then they want to talk about all the stuff they did to get right here. Mm-hmm. Once you got right here, none of this ever up down it up here matter. matter. It didn't matter why you was doing it. Yeah. So don't talk about it now. Yeah. That's my thing is you wasn't talking bad about that person right. when you was going through the process. Right. Don't do it now. Right. Either right. you do it or you don't do it at all. So so I don't I commend Shannon Sharp or even I wish that I had a had a uh, a platform like we could say, Hey, y'all come on here. And I think it's not yeah. it's not being He's not messy. doing that. Yeah. It's just that it's is allowing it, him. It's, it's allowing it's him just to. It's that cat. When cat got on there, cat said, "Okay, I came on here number one because yeah. you had all these people, right. all these individuals. He named individuals. Right. You had all these individuals on here coming on here telling these lies and yeah. they're telling lies about, about stuff me. that had to do with me. Right. So he just used his resources of you know the right. the app and I mean the you know his podcast to come on there and and, Say and his clear. Truth. Clean up some stuff because he's like so and so's lying. Right, that didn't happen, and this didn't happen, and right. it's okay to call people out when stuff don't when they are uh, telling right. you know the untruth. It's so, okay. So Shannon Sharp is not being messy. He is not being messy. He's allowing them people to come on his show and talk about what they want to talk about. That's what they want to talk about. Now it's a difference if they coming on and they lying. Mm-hmm. That's what makes it messy. But we watch the other show. <laughs> we watch his other podcast, and y'all need to go and watch them. Yeah, it's not anything like what we've been seeing. Right. Um, he had Chris, just got, Chris Brown. Yeah, Chris Brown. They was Usher. talking about music and basketball. Usher was talking about his music. You know, um, yeah. You know how he got in business, and, yeah. You know how he got where he was at, and yeah. what it took to still be where he's at. Right. So he talks to different people of different. Jungle. backgrounds yeah. and they tell their stories it's just that the individuals <laughs> that Kat were talking about they got on there and started and, lying yeah. so Kat just came on there and said can Kat I come was, on yeah. and I need to clear up some stuff right 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 so, and see and the only thing I think that the people that not and not miss you Miss Newsom because I feel like everybody it's a lot of people seem to think the Shannon Sharp uh, Shay Shay podcast uh, room is being messy I feel like the only people that feel like that is the ones that got something to hide that don't that they don't want mm-hmm. to be exposed. Mm-hmm. Because it could be anybody. It could be anybody. You say, why are we tearing each other apart? That's that, my question. That plan I'm hey, I'm just saying that when it comes all it is is when one person say one thing and the other person come back and tell the truth. Which one you want? You want somebody to lie to you or you want the truth? They want you, somebody to lie to you. You, you, want, you want somebody to get on there and lie, and you want me to believe a lie, and you know the truth, but you won't clarify that truth. So you rather me believe a lie about you or a truth about you? My thing is, it wouldn't <laughs> be anything that needs to be told. We wouldn't. I get what you're saying about tearing each other apart because I said that a couple uh, weeks ago. I said, why are we the only one, race? Only one. Only the race. only race that's on here talking about each other. Because it's too easy way. to have a conversation. It, Monique always said, I always hear her say, my sweet baby, is all it takes is a conversation. That's where I learned that from. So my question is, is, why is it so hard to have a conversation on something you feel you wronged about? And I, why why can't somebody say, hey, you wronged me? I hear you when you say, how do you know it's true? We're not even just saying... We're not what telling the truth or we, not. We're not really saying what's true, what's not true. I'm saying just about we as people, just right. in general. Just stay with me. We as general, we as people tend to, when you get to a certain point, you know how somebody say, oh, will you get on, King? Or, you know, like say you get on at a company and then right. you get to be manager or supervisor. And then somebody say, how you get me on? And you know, majority of the times we mm-hmm. ran into it all ourselves where they'd be like, you know what? I don't... 
it was hard for me to get. I don't even know. Mm -hmm. You know, they no, I what? don't know how to, we don't help <laughs> each other. And I'm just saying, why we can't just you get to a certain yeah. point to say, come, you know, put your hand and say, come, come on, come on. Yeah. But we never want nobody to to, to do better or, uh, they, uh, or to get where you are. You know, to get where you are. What's wrong? What's wrong with what's wrong with being equal? What's wrong with being equal? Why why can't I have what she had? Why can't she have what I had? Why does she have to have more than me? Why do I have to have more than her? Yeah, so that's my thing is like um to Sheena Arnold and um Tisha Campbell. When they when they finally, you know, met as friends and mm -hmm. they were saying when they would go on um um auditions together, they, they make together. sure they make sure they go together and mm -hmm. if I don't get it you you gonna get it right you know what i'm right. saying they, they support, we don't go. Well, that, that's what you call support but it's not like i'm gonna I'm a, I'm a beat you because you, you ain't getting that part you know what i'm saying if, if i don't get it then hey i'm gonna make sure i'm gonna try to hit sure make sure you get, get it. it right yeah and that's the way that it should be but we don't do each other like that but if you look at any other race the hispanics the asian and all this stuff they help each other out right. you see them in these shops they have shops where they helping each other out they got but their then, own family but, then but we, we can't have, do that but then we have a, it, then we had an issue because they doing it but we don't both we don't we don't come together and and build right you know so and, and divine say fear but fear what i said all the time everybody have the opportunity to do whatever it is that they want and need some some of us need help people to reach back but that see where does it start though daddy that's what i'm saying where does it start even oh <laughs> oprah winfrey mm -hmm. she was one of those who said, I remember when I was a little black girl, I looked up to this person, this, this person, da, 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 da. Yeah. And how she knew she had a heart in the business, you know, wearing her natural hair and this, that, when she was a news anchor. I don't mm -hmm. know if y'all knew that, but she went through a lot. You know what you went through. So why you want to sit up here and, and do the same else, thing and watch somebody else struggle yeah. when you're you have the, at the, the level. Means. You have the you're, means and opportunities. Yes, you're at somebody. the level where... You you have to say, and you sit up here and, and will watch somebody yeah. struggle or watch Taraji. Yeah. Taraji shouldn't have had, had to, to do all that. She yeah. shouldn't have had to. Um, what do you call you when you call it when you go out for a part? Audition. She shouldn't have had to audition. If I'm if you pick me for the part, then why do I have to audition? You say it's even it's even worse in the <laughs> army. We embarrass each other in in. Uh, in front of uh, the other race, yes, yes. yes. You see, we shouldn't do it. And then the reason, and they sit back. You know, they sit and back they, and, and they sit back and say, "Let them, let them do it to themselves. We yeah. got to do it to them. They doing it to each other." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we but, but do I started off. I started off by saying, "With with Miss Monique, I love her to death. I do. Um, I just want to. I I felt her. I felt her when she said, "You know, all I want is an apology, mm -hmm. and I want to be compensated for." The, the millions I've lost. I, I felt her on that. Mm -hmm. However, I've been through certain things with certain people, and I understand that it's apologies I'm not going to ever get. It's some it's some things I'm just not going to... Some people just not going to say I'm sorry for doing that to you. So, and I just want, you know, Miss Monique to, to, to put that and understand from this point on how to deal with people. You know, just say, okay, this is not what I'm doing. I, I've been through this before, but I want her to, to, to now that, that it's been exposed and it's been said and and we know the truth, stop arguing with DL. Stop expecting a, uh, an apology that you that nobody's gonna you know, feel like they owe you. Just mm -hmm. just leave it. Just leave it and just let it be. My thing is that, no, wait, wait, wait. The Brother Club apologized after the interview with Shay Shay. You know what? Uh, that would be uh, sincere. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I used to, I, I, however your name is, that wasn't a sincere apology. Because what he said was, I, I'm sorry, I just want peace. That's not an apology. He doesn't want to make sure nobody coming yeah, for him. That's, that, all. that's all that was. That wasn't an apology. And I commend uh, just the myth, you know, for, for saying what she said, you know. Um, but that was that was no apology. That that was not an. That's apology. what I was gonna about to say. So if if these people if these people apologize, really, right? It's not gonna. 
to me, if I was Monique, that, it wouldn't mean anything anymore. Right. Because it's, it it's took past all the of point. that. It it's took past all the point. of that yeah. to give. Yeah, so you're not going you're not going to get the that's why I'm saying Monique, I want Monique to just move on and move past it. I commend her husband for standing by her through all of that. I'm glad that she had somebody to fall on because if she didn't have him and 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 she let stuff that this stuff get to her, I don't think she'd be where she is. So I commend him for for standing by her through all it is. Y'all can talk about the man all you want, but he, he was there. Peter Charlemagne said, <laughs> he just want peace because he don't want nobody digging. <laughs> so, you know, cause, and actually that's a smart move, but it wasn't really, it wasn't sincere. It wasn't sincere. But if he would have made it sincere, but that was a smart move to say because he's saying he want peace because he don't want her coming for him. That's right. the thing that's then because people, when you, you know how people go for other people, <laughs> other people start digging, he don't want nobody digging. So he don't want no problems. That's why I told yeah. baby the best thing to do is stay quiet yeah. out of sight out of, out of mind. mind yeah <laughs> oh man why would he not be there he getting paid regardless of, of him getting paid or not it's still her husband and still her manager he still had her back certain managers and and, and supervisors don't have other I can honestly say my mind don't have my back it is the shit I've been going through the past few months it, she's keep living in the past. <laughs> That's why she can't see the future. I just think that she needs to. After she said what she said on Shannon Sharp, yeah, it I should think be that done. It should be done with. It should you be know, done. Uh, whoever her publicist is or whoever, I think that they should say, okay, enough. Okay, That's now it. you That's said it. on your podcast, let's let's let sleeping dogs lie. Yeah. Let it be. If they apologize, they apologize. If they don't, they don't. You survive right. without them apologizing this long. It will be okay. You got your truth out there. Let it be. Yeah, yeah. But it would not benefit him financially. That's still a husband, regardless of, of the business side of it. That's still her husband, and I commend her husband for being by her side. And I a think, lot of people that don't have it. Yeah, and I think that a lot of people are looking at it. See, a lot of people are looking too much into it because they're looking at. Well, money, money wise, yeah. as far as financially, and we not, really don't know. Support. We really don't know what he do. Yeah, you may think he don't do nothing, or a lot of us may not think he do nothing, but we don't even know. Like a lot of people don't even know Stedman's background, but let people tell it. Stedman don't do nothing. Yeah, Stedman was a businessman before Oprah was. Yeah, <laughs> Stedman was making money doing speaking engagements before Oprah did. So yeah. you don't know. We don't know what he's doing. We don't even know if he probably he just probably might have an investment and have money to where he ain't got to do nothing. I'm just commend him for being by her side. Yeah, because that woman went through some stuff. I feel her pain then, and I feel her pain now. I feel her pain then because she got blackballed and couldn't get businesses and do what she needed to do. But if she like do. it, I love it. Is she and happy? Then, <laughs> and then when, you know, the truth came out, it took to Roger to put herself on the line. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, it, it took to Roger to put us in. I felt her pain for to show that Monica was telling the truth all this time. And I so I commend I commend her husband for being there, for, for Monique's husband being there, and whoever had to ride your back, I commend them for having her back. Well, see, and I think that's probably what one of Monique's things is, because yeah. she's like, why did it have to, why had to take it her? take it to get to her. How yeah. Why had to get to her for y'all to believe him, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did I do for you not to trust me? Yeah. And we're not saying I believe her full heartedly yeah but i believe some Her of what things, she's saying yeah. is true Her because things, yeah. taraji just verified yeah yeah <laughs> you know yeah. verified that. and i just hate that everything is about money i understand this is money world or whatnot but i hate that things are being divided because of money you know i i i i, I mm, the stuff i see now that's going on in hollywood and 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 you know pertaining to money I'm, I told my wife the other day, I said, I'm so glad that I'm just not, I'm just not in Hollywood. If I ever wanted to be in Hollywood, I'm glad I'm not now. And then, uh, and then at the same time, too, you have to understand <laughs> that even though we as people like Steve Harvey's and, and the, Cedric, the, mm -hmm. the Cedrics and, 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 and the, the women of comedy, they really didn't like. They really don't like that. Yeah, they want to do something really out. They, they, the no. What I'm saying is that men don't like women in comedy. Like men don't like women 
Um, doing so sports. Study men no, don't like women truck drivers. Right, but but sportscasters. You know, like <laughs> if you sitting up, and I noticed that that if women sit up and you make a comment about sports and a bunch of men are talking, they really don't talk to you. They 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 they, talk they let you. you say, and then they'll say, yeah. So yeah. anyway, the other day because <laughs> they don't they don't want you in that. Yeah, they don't want you in that. Yeah. <laughs> and the same thing with comedy either whether they want to admit it or not but then a lot of them do, they don't want the females off in there that's why they have their own stuff yeah that's why I lost me some more some more I love me some more some more so don't say my name I love some, some more I love me some more some more some more tell it like it is some more <laughs> <laughs> oh man but I just I just we just wanted to say you know that part <coughs> of the uh, Monique interview and stuff. I, I just, from this point on, I want her to be able to say, okay, I said what I said. Okay, I'm done. And that's it. You know. Um, and be and it's a wrap. That's all I got on that, baby. Okay, can I talk about something else on TikTok tabloids that I've seen today? Or <laughs> i seen a lady go to Walmart. Okay. She brings in her son. She has her son in a buggy. He looks like he may be about four or five years old. Mm. He's got a trash bag on him. He's, she got clothes on, and they said it was it was freezing temperatures outside. Yeah. They fired a Walmart employee for saying something to her. About the child. About her child. Because what she was doing, she was getting stuff out the freezer section. He's in the buggy, and she was throwing stuff on top of him. Mm. You know, at the freezer section, he already cold. Right. One lady went and actually got bought some clothes for the the, the section and bought some clothes and put it on him. Mm. That's a shame. But the mama was dressed. I don't know if y'all seen that or not. But the mom, she was dressed, but she had a trash bag on him and the poor baby. Mm. He was just freezing. And they fired a Walmart um, employee for employee for saying something. Wow. They did an update. She went to jail. Oh, good. Was charged. good. Oh, okay. okay. I didn't see it. I hate that he was separated from his mama, but it's probably for the best. It's probably for the best. Yeah. I, I didn't see it. So she, she was telling me about it. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's crazy. That's crazy. I've seen that. See, now, I don't like to see stuff like that because it hurts my heart mm -hmm. and I start to cry. Mm -hmm. Start to cry. So, mm -hmm. but yeah. Yeah. So. What else? What else we got? What else we got? Uh, she lost her job because she wasn't going to stop taking. Well, it's, it's, somebody needs it, it to see need, it. I mean, in order somebody to, needs to see it. In yeah. order for somebody to take steps, and if you're doing legal, you need to have that as because it could be my word against your word. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. She still shouldn't have got fired for taping. That you got it, it's, a, it, it's the right thing to do. That just lets you know where the um her video reached the right people. Yeah. Yeah. You, you yeah. know the um. I what, do you, what do you call it right. when you say your your values? Yeah. It just lets you know what Walmart's values are. If they they telling her not to tape and you find an employee for speaking up for something, especially when it's a child, health and, and life and all that stuff at risk. So yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, have you guys seen Fantasia speak on how Tyler Brown helped her when she lost her? Yeah. He's in CPS custody. Okay. Wow. Yeah. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Yeah. So I will say again, like I always say, y'all, your body get in touch with take uh, Tyler Perry. Tell him to put us on either Sister, Zatima. What else we got? What other show? We don't want to be on the Oval. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We might and, make we might make look, Oval more interesting. And, and he ain't got to pay me. He got to pay her. But he ain't got to pay me. Yeah. I drive a truck. You got, you got to pay me. You got to pay yeah, me. He ain't but, pay but, me. I but, drive a truck. But, yeah. but TP, let me tell you, it'd be worth it. Okay, <laughs> it'd be worth it. I cry on the drop of a dime. I promise you. All you gotta do is say, Miss J, we need you crying the scene. I haven't worked on the one tier T yet, like Denzel. <laughs> But I, I, I got that down and I got the lip quiver down. I, 
I ain't got the snotty nose. Do the real purple, man. I ain't got the snotty nose. I ain't got the snotty nose. I ain't got the snotty nose thing down, but I got all that down. I can, I, hey. I'm just letting you know. If you're looking for hey, a prior. Hey, TP, I got an ad lib. I, can't, I cannot read no script because it ain't going to come out right. <laughs> it ain't going to come out right. Oh, look at that. Oh, you can't go it up. You can't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah. Yeah, I got to I gotta add it. I got to go as I go. Right? That's the only way you get the authentic me. I can't read the script yeah. and say, you know, this ain't going to come out right. Cause, yeah, yeah, baby baby has an ad You probably can give her, like, the foundation of yeah. the, and, I, and I can make it And my then own. she can build on top of that. Yeah. Uh, I can remember like lines like that, but baby, baby's quick at uh, improvising. <laughs> Improvise, sh- crier, yeah. dramatic. Me. Oh yeah. man, but that's yeah. all we got for today, y'all. Um, yeah. I gotta that's go to work tomorrow. Um, we're gonna see how the week gonna go. I go to work tomorrow. I, th- I appreciate everybody coming through, being respectful. For- he doing fine. We just seen the picture of him just now. Yeah. He's walking, walking now, y'all. He opening doors. He opening doors. Yeah, he's and, walking, walking. Um, going up the stairs. Yeah. You know, uh, oh, going up man. the stairs and climbing down the stairs backwards at my sister's house. And yeah, that's, yeah that's they, they basically they can't. They just can't take their eyes off. And you gonna you say you gonna get them first, huh? I'm trying to get them Thursday. I'm trying to get them Thursday. And yeah. Hopefully, though. Hopefully we got to call and try to get them Thursday. Yeah. But he's he's doing good. He he wasn't paying me no mind when I FaceTimed him today. He was too busy walking. He li- For some reason, he likes the trash can. He likes putting stuff in and taking stuff out. He puts it in. He takes it out. So. Yeah. yeah. So, well, happy birthday to happy you. Happy birthday, Monday. Uh, yeah. So, anyway. But anyway, you want to sing the song? I'm so glad we had this time together. Together! This will be on YouTube. Just to have a laugh or sing a song. Song! Seems we just get started and before you know it. You know what? Comes the time we have to say. So, so long. long. Tell them bye, baby. Bye, baby. Bye, y'all.